Okay, one way we can test for the crank position sensor is to check the RPMs, the RPM gauge on a scanner. Uh, so, this is came in the 06 Toyota Corolla S. And uh, one of the things, oh, it says Lincoln Air. Uh, it came in, it cranks, but doesn't start. So uh, I'm looking at my scan tool, I gotta set it again to uh, live data. Hmm. Okay, we got live data. Now we're gonna scroll to RPMs. There's RPM, second one. Okay, I want you to see what it, oops, what it does when I crank the car over. Let's see if I could do this. Okay, you should be seeing uh, RPMs, or this number right here, go from anywhere from 100 to 500. Uh, in the middle is okay. Uh, and if it's zero, that means the sensor is bad. And it could be intermittent. Sometimes you'll get zero, and then when you try starting it again, you'll get, you know, two something, and that's what this one was doing. So it's an intermittent problem. Check it out. We're going to crank it right now. It's at zero, and then I went to 253. I let off, turn the key back, go forward. No signal. Turn the key back. Pull the key out, put it back in. So the crank sensor is not operating the way it should. See, sometimes it'll register and sometimes it won't. It's supposed to register like that. There you go, see now it's working, but it still won't run. That's the way it should be registering. Stop it, crank it again. So we got a bad crank position sensor so I'm gonna let the battery charge up again I heard it dragging a little bit more and uh, you can test a crank position sensor with a scan tool all right that's the end of this little video it's just a tech tip okay bye